Hello, Lily here. Today we are starting with Class Three, Chapter Two of your English textbook. The name of the chapter is Ricky Tikki Tavi goes exploring and becomes part of a new family. And the author is Joseph Rudyard Kipling. So let's start. Ricky Tikki Tavi looked down between Teddy's collar and neck, and sniffed at the boy's ear. Then he climbed down to the floor, where he sat rubbing his nose. Good gracious," said Teddy's mother, "and that's a wild animal. I suppose he's so tame because we've been kind to him." All mongooses are like that," said the big man, who was her husband. "If Teddy doesn't pick him up by the tail, or try to pull him in a cage, he'll run it and out of the house all day long. Let's give him something to eat." They gave him a little piece of raw meat, and Ricky Tikki Tavi really enjoyed it. When it was finished, he went out into the veranda and sat in the sunshine. He fluffed up his fur to make it dry to the roots. Then he felt better. There are lots of things to explore in this house, he said to himself. I shall certainly stay and look around. He spent all day roaming about the house. He nearly drowned himself in the bathtubs. He put his nose into the ink bottle on a writing table. He climbed up into the big man's lap to see how writing was done, and burned his nose on the end of a big man's cigar. At nightfall, he ran into Teddy's nursery to watch how kerosene lamps were lit. When Teddy went to bed, Ricky Tikki Tavi climbed in too, but he was a restless companion. He got up at every noise and went off to find out what made it. Teddy's mother and father came in to look at their son, and Ricky Tikki Tavi was awake on the pillow. I don't like that," said Teddy's mother. "He may bite the child. He'll do no such thing," said the father. "Teddy is safer with that little beast than if he had a." Bloodhound, to watch him. If a snake came into the nursery now, but Teddy's mother wouldn't think of anything so awful. She just hoped that the mongoose wouldn't bring any harm to Teddy. So this was the story, and let's come to the word meanings. Sniffed means. Trying to detect a smell here, the mongoose. Veranda means the roofed space that runs along the outside of a building. Fluffed means to make something appear fuller and softer. Nursery means here a room in the house meant for young children. Explore means travel through unknown areas to learn more about the place. Restless means not able to rest, which is usually related to boredom. Companion means a person or animal with whom you spend a lot of time, and bloodhound means a breed of dog which has a keen sense of 
smell. Now fill in the blanks. Number one, Ricky Tiki Tawi enjoyed eating raw meat. Number two, Ricky Tiki Tawi nearly drowned himself in the bathtub. And number three, he climbed onto the big man's lap to see how writing was done. The question and answers I will refer to the notebook. And in this part, you should just know that the people or animals in a story are called characters. In this story, we have the characters Ricky Tiki Tawi. And here, the unscrambled words. Number one, we spend a very pleasant day roaming around the town. The next page. Number two, the lion is a mighty beast. Number three, the shopkeeper has a tame monkey. Number four, the baby was very restless in its cradle. And number five, my father is writing a letter. As you can see, this crossword will be complete like this. Number one, friend is companion. Number two, not wet is dry. Number three, train to live among people is tame. Number four, not cooked is raw. And across, number four, sorry, this was number five, and now number four. Wonder means roam. Number six, not sleeping means awake and number seven to be completely under water means drown okay now these are the table shows the forms of be have and do be can be in the form of is am are was where have can be in the form of has have had and do can also take the form of does, do, did, doing, and done. Now let's complete this fill in the blanks. Number one, Teddy is a young boy. Number two, Ricky Tiki Tawi is a curious mongoose. Number three, I am scared of mongoose. Number four, Teddy is safe with that little beast, said Baba. Number five, when the piece of meat was finished, he went out into the veranda. And now fill in the blanks with the correct auxiliary. Number one, did the guard talk to you? Number two, do you know where Tom Sauer lives? Number three, is your friend angry with you? Number four, were they planning to meet at 4 p.m.? And number five, did you not hear anything at all? Here, you can finish this um, table like this, as you can see. And here it is all about using commas. Number one, my mother brought jams, jellies, comma, mayo, comma, bread and butter. Number two, Ram, Shyam, Amit, Harry, Suraj and Viraj are coming to my birthday party. Number three, the teddy bear is big, cute, soft and fluffy number four i saw a cheetah a monkey a panda a bear and a giraffe at the zoo so this chapter has been done in the course book now let's refer to the notebook here here are some new words for the children to write 
the word meaning. We will copy the stain from the course book and theorist answer the following questions. Number one, who was Ricky Tiki Tawi? Answer, Ricky Tiki Tawi was a curious mongoose. Number two, what did Ricky Tiki Tawi do after eating a little piece of raw meat? Answer, after eating a little piece of raw meat, he went out into the veranda and sat in the sunshine to fluff up his fur and make it dry. Number three. Why is Ricky Tiki Tawi called a restless companion? Answer. Ricky Tiki Tawi is called as a restless companion because he spent all day roaming around the house. He got up at every noise and went off to find out what made it. Number four. What does Ricky Tiki Tawi do at the end of the day? Answer is. At the end of the day, Ricky Tiki Tawi went into the nursery to watch how kerosene lamps were lit and climbed onto Teddy's bed when he fell asleep. Number 5. Mention some incidents when Ricky Tiki Tawi get into trouble at the home. Answer is Ricky Tiki Tawi nearly drowned himself in the bathtubs. He put his nose into the ink bottle on a writing table he burned his nose on the end of the big man's cigar who say to whom number one he'll do no such things teddy's father say to teddy's mother number two good gracious teddy's mother say to teddy's father and number three all mongooses are like that. Teddy's father to Teddy's mother. Ask the following questions. What would your reaction be if you receive a wild animal as your pet? The answer is, if I receive a wild animal as a pet, I would be very scared because keeping them can be very dangerous. Many can bite, scratch, and attack an owner, children, or guests. Ricky Tiki Tavi is curious about everything. Do you think it is good to be curious? Yes, it is. Curiosity helps us survive. We can gain knowledge and we can get the answer about new things. And here are also two uh, words that uh, it is good for making sentences. For example, companion. A dog is a very faithful companion and restless. The baby was very restless at night. Now we will go to the homework. Here it is. Ricky Tiki Tawi. Here are scramble words according to the picture we should find out. Number one is horse. Number two is crow. Number three is fox. Four is elephant. And five is pigeon. Here we should just match the column with the definitions. So sniffed means breathe it in air to smell something. Explore means move around an area looking for something. Restless means uneasy. Companion means friend. And awful means terrible. Now you should make some sentences with these words. Here are some examples. For sniffed, the dog sniffed at my daddy's shoes. Number two, I like to explore India. Number three, the baby was restless at night. Number four, my best companion is my family. And number five, there is an awful smell here. Okay, now complete. Number one, Teddy is playing the tricky tiki tawi in the veranda. Number two, I am exploring the place for more information. Number three, Ricky Tiki Tawi did not sniff at 
the mother's ear. Number four, he did not tell lies. Number five, did Ricky Dicky Tabby climb into Teddy's bed? And number six, we have met after a long time. Now, this is also correct the following sentences. I have joined them. He did not clean his room yesterday. They are planting new trees in the garden. I have a blue pen. Punit, does that light bring vegetables? Chris was writing an essay or is writing an essay. These are the different sounds of C and yeah, I think so. We will come to the next page. The short E sounds and the long E sounds. Bed, shed, net, pet, head. Real, seat, please, beat, and me. So yeah, it's done. So if you enjoyed my video, do like, comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.